Hello everybody and welcome to episode 21 of Glory Hunter with Inter Milan. Today we take on Manchester City. That's right, the champions of Italy take on the champions of England in the Champions League. We've got a few results to run through since we've last been together, so let's do that first. And we start following the draw with Real Madrid last time around with a 5-0 win away at Salernitana. Two goals for Jota, one for Suic, one for Emric, and one for Fratesi. It was over by half time, that one. Not so much against Fiorentina. Andy Robertson was sent off just in the start of the second half as it finished 0 0. We did miss a penalty with 10 men as well, as we missed the chance to beat Fiorentina. It was shoe on the other foot against Celtic as they had a man sent off. We scored in the 90th minute thanks to Evan Ferguson to win at Celtic Park. Then we beat Verona by three goals to one. Arabas, Olmo and Rosalev with the goals. And we beat Bologna by the same scoreline. Musa Diaby, Olmo and Matthias Cunha with the goals. As we open up a five-point lead at the top of Serie A, we are the last unbeaten side in the division as we look to claim a fourth straight Serie A title. In the Champions League, things have got a little bit more interesting. So that win over Celtic leaves us 13th. Level on points with Milan. Even Real Madrid are behind us. So Manchester City are up in third. Looking to make it four wins from five. Can we stop them doing it? Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups as we start with Vicario in goal. Timber, Bastoni, Schottlerbeck. Robertson, Barella, Gavi, Suic, Olmo, Emric with Ferguson leading the line for us. Manchester City start with Edison in goal. Tommy Asu, Diaz, Rodri, Guardiol, Neves, Silva, Nunez, Williams, Foden with Erling Haaland leading the line. Now at the same stage last season, we beat Manchester City by five goals to two in the Champions League. Can Lightning strike twice? We will see. We have made a lot of changes since then, of course, as we look to claim the big one. Can we do it? I have got my eye potentially on going somewhere else during the season to tick off the Conference League. Because I'm just realising that's going to be a really hard one to tick off at the end of the season. At the end of it all, we will find out what's going to happen as Inter take on Manchester City. Let's go. Haaland gets us off and underway. Just back from injury is Erling Haaland. His timing couldn't have been worse, frankly, as Robertson's got the ball into Emrick. So we need to get our Champions League group phase going, really. We need a win tonight. We have a free kick with Danny Olmo early. Looking towards the far post. It's headed up rather than out. Manchester City will get it clear, but there is no one there. So Danny Olmo will pick that up. Plays it into Timber. On towards Lukas Suic. Can he find a ball into the centre? He plays it to the edge of the box for Borello. He gets a shot away. Urien Timber picks it up. And Phil Foden will bring it away from Manchester City. But Erling Haaland is marked fairly comfortably. Guardiola with a throw. Headed away by Danny Olmo. That was a terrible throw in. Absolutely horrendous. Pep will be going mad on the sideline as Ferguson picks it up. And he's played a short back pass to Erling Haaland. You're not teammates, son. Goodness me. That's why the attackers stay up there. Get away from the goal. He's back for the corner. Is Evan Ferguson. And he plays it towards the edge of the box. as Phil Foden. But Ferguson this time sends it in the right direction. Corner. Robertson to take it. Out swinger. Just attack the ball. That's all you need to do from this point. Shot the back rises. And it's a good save from Edison. We will have a go from the other side. It's going to be Robertson from this side. In swinger this time. Ball in towards the area. And it's headed up and over the bar by Schottlebeck. Lucario with the goal kick. Sending it into Schottlebeck. On towards Barella. Bastoni. In towards Timber. Up the line to Suic. Inside to Danny Olmo. Nunez coming back and doing a very good job of tracking back. Lucas Suic up against Guardiola. Good battle that one. Here is Rodri. Playing in the back four, it looks like. Phil Foden is intercepted by Yuri and Timber. And Timber is on the break. Go on, son. No, don't slow down. I think he needs a bit of help. He's looking for it. And he finds it in Barella. On to Gavi. Back into Bastoni. 
across into Shotlebeck. Manchester City back behind the ball. As Barella picks it up, finds a lovely ball to Enric. Space to run into for him. Can he find a ball back? He can find Gavi. Can he find Danny Olmo? He can find the back of the net. We open Manchester City up. And we lead by a goal to nil. Wonderful stuff. Danny almost 10th goal of the season. There was talk of him going in the summer. To be fair, I shopped him around. Nobody came in for him. And I am delighted nobody did. He is out of contract next summer. And there will be many suitors, I should imagine. Free kick. Just coming up to half time. Emmerich with it. He goes for the shot. Good save from Edison. He's going to do well to beat him from there. Towards Andy Robertson. Coming down that left-hand side. Plays it on to Enric. Can he find a ball into the centre? Can he find a shot? Can he find the goal? There's a foul on the... I mean, there's a foul near enough on the goal line. Lucas Suic has gone down. We have a penalty. Danny Armo looking for his second. Because he will take it. I mean, there is no doubt. We don't need VAR. As we are potentially going to lead the champions of England by two goals to nil. Come on. Can Danny Armo beat Edison for the second time tonight? Can he do it? Yes, he can. Straight down the middle. Edison dives and tries to come back on it. And we lead by two goals to nil. Easy. 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 Come on. Wonderful penalty. Straight down the middle with power. No goalkeeper saves that. And that is half time into lead by two goals to nil. Ironically, uh, Manchester City's best chance has come from Evan Ferguson. Can we keep it going in the second half? Doing brilliantly. Let's keep it going. Come on. Let's find another one. Find another one. Find another one. I want five. I'm happy at two. But more is more, right? As Olmo picks it up on a hat trick, of course. Shot Lebeck. Plays it across into Robertson. It's unusual to see Manchester City this tame, isn't it? They're back behind the ball. They're defending. Is that because we've got a lot of power going forward? I mean, we have... And Pep probably realises it. Right, we've reached the midway point of the second half. We are going to make some changes. Gavi is going to be one of them. Fratizi is going to come on for him. We're going to take off Danny Olmo as well to bring on Arabas. Just freshen things up in the centre of the park as Phil Foden has got a free kick for Man City. It's off the top of the wall and over the bar. Keenan Dewsbury Hall is on for City. Plays in Bernardo Silva. Blimey, there's a job. Nunes with the corner. Towards the edge of the box looking for Foden. And Ferguson is out there fairly comfortably to get us on the counter. No, it doesn't find a teammate. All right, let's freshen things up in the wide positions as Calvin Phillips comes on as well. So Emmerich is going to come off. Diego Jota is going to come on for him. And we're going to bring on Moussa Diaby on the opposite side. That is what we're going to do. It's been a fairly comfortable game so far. Not much for Manchester City to write home about. Obviously, they're probably going to win the title at home. They invariably do, as Moussa Diaby picks it up. And he plays it into Barella. Chance for number three, perhaps. Moussa Diaby's inside the penalty area. Can he score? No, he can't. He's missed it. Well. Wow. Okay. Guardiol with the throw. In towards Foden. He finds a teammate this time, Guardiol, which will delight his manager. Phillips. Set upon him. As we find Ruben Diaz. It's towards Nunez. Far too much space for him, by the way. Go to him. Whee! Pop shot from distance. No motor. There's Edison with the goal kick. The press is high. As Evan Ferguson's doing a lot of running. Finds Nunez. Go on. Oh, almost. Jusby Hall goes back to his goalkeeper. So say that they're very tame, Manchester City. Not causing any problems. Jota. Fratizi. So many of them on the edge of the box. Fratizi goes for it. And it's just over the top. That would have been a collector's item. Diaz. I mean, they're still trying to play it out from the back. I haven't seen Erling Haaland touch the ball in the second half. As Nunez comes through. He's had plenty of touches. Williams across into Calvin Phillips. Nunez on the turn. Vicario, easy save. And we are into four added minutes. It's not going to be the 5-2 of last year. We are going to have two on the scoreline. It's just going to be two for us. Can it be three right at the end? Arabas with the corner to put the cream on top of the cake. Ball in. 
headed away. Shot in the back. Will he go a shot away? No, he'll play it back to Arabas. Have a shot from there. Someone have a shot, for goodness sake. Otherwise, we're just going to run out of time. And that is it. Full time. 2-0. The final score. Even the referee was delighted with that one. Yeah. On the balance of it, Manchester City had a lot of possession. Did naff all with it. And it just goes to show that possession isn't everything in football sometimes. We are up to sixth place. 11 points from our five games played so far. Let's take a look and see what we're going to do next time. So what we are going to do next time, we're going to come back for a post-Christmas cracker against AC Milan. So we'll take on Genoa, we'll take on Napoli, Feyenoord, Cagliari and Lazio. And we will see what happens in the Milan derby. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.